everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Sergei. Holy crap, it's been so long since I posted on YouTube. I'll talk about that later in this video, but I just want to say I'm sorry and I'm back. For real this time. I know this is not like a normal video. I don't really do sit down videos, but it's just been so long. I thought I would just like sit here. I asked questions on my Instagram. You guys asked so many questions and I'm so excited. I hope I can answer some of them. Also, you guys might be like, why the heck are you in a car? If I tried to film this, <laughs> if I tried to film this video at my house right now with my family, it would literally be a disaster. I would laugh full time in my family would just not take me seriously and i just want this to be like a really chill video i'm like low-key kind of nervous because i don't want to say anything that like you guys could take the wrong way or sometimes it's hard to talk about my feelings and i don't want to say something wrong that i like, don't actually mean and after we post this video i'm gonna have my normal content like vlogs morning routines because that's what i love to do like youtube is like where it all started I keep using my hands oh I need to take my gum out because it's probably so annoying. YouTube's like where it all started. I have like such a passion for filming my life and videoing it and editing it and just sharing it with you guys and helping other people. And I know I've taken a break from YouTube, but I'm back. Let's freaking go. Frick. Wait, one more thing. I'm sorry if I'm awkward and weird. I'm just going to try and chill and do this the best I can. Okay, like I said, I posted on Instagram the other day. Ask me questions. You guys asked me so many. First and foremost... I'm not even gonna look at them yet. This was the most asked question I already knew was gonna happen. Why'd you quit Alabama cheer? Why aren't you cheering? Do you regret cheering? Do you regret your decision? Are you still gonna cheer? Before I answer that, I'm just gonna say, if you guys don't know, I cheered my entire life and the last three years, I was on Alabama cheer. And I just recently retired. I really dislike the question, why'd you quit? or like do you regret quitting because if i quit i feel like that would be very different but i started cheer when i was three years old my cheer career goes way back to being on like a team with my mom going to Maryland twisters being on f5 moving my entire life to miami by myself being on tglc winning worlds like going to alabama making the team meeting my best friends being coached by some of the best coaches just like this whole experience, this whole cheerleading career, like, I literally would not change it for the world. Like, I don't want anyone to think I just, like, quit because there is reasoning behind why I retired and I stopped cheer and I'm not going to be doing it my senior year. When I was 16, I moved to Miami to be on TGLC. It's always been a dream of mine. I literally lived in a host house. I left my family. I left high school. I left all my high school friends. I lived in this, like, small apartment technically it was a one bedroom but there was uh, another bedroom and it had two sets of bunk beds i lived with five of the girls and we were all on tglc except for one of them it was just like a dream come true i was cheering every single day of my life waking up going to the gym tumbling stunting like everything was just so amazing i wouldn't change it for the world but my time there i did develop an eating disorder and i promise you i'm getting to the point <laughs> i will say it was a really hard darkest time of my life. I mean, it was hard not having my parents there. I was so thankful that one of my coaches would drive me and I would get help. I was doing like online therapy because it was like COVID and just so much was going on. I ended up coming home and just like being with my family. This whole time of me like trying to get better, me still doing cheerleading, it never just like went away. Like my issues and my struggles, like it never just went away. Even till today i'm still struggling and it's just something an everyday battle that like i'm trying to get better and that just goes to show like i'm literally not perfect everyone has their struggles okay anyways i spent two years at top gun one world and it was one of the best days of my entire life <laughs> literally a couple days after that i found out that i made alabama cheer and it, i was so excited i was so excited for the college experience my mom cheered at penn state and i was just like so excited just for like a change going to alabama being on the cheer team meeting the best people ever god has blessed me with such amazing teammates and friends and coaches 
I had no idea like what was gonna happen in my three years. I really was just going with the flow. I still was struggling. It got to the point where my junior year, so this past season, just like I came to this realization and like cheerleading has brought me so much opportunity, such a joy in my life, friendships and just blessings. But like it was to the point where I was not enjoying it anymore. It got so mental and I would be so anxious all the time like if i had practice that morning i would wake up and i would be like freaking out yeah i might have been bawling my eyes out 10 20 minutes before practice but walked into practice i knew i had to be there for my teammates only like really my family and obviously riley my roommate because she lives with me and she saw it even just like my relationship with food and just my eating habits and just like my body image and how I see myself that is just like a constant struggle and I'm not saying cheer is like the main issue but cheer definitely has a very big impact on that it's just it's cheerleading I'm a flyer and it's just it's just really hard fast forward you're training for nationals which is like my favorite time of the year because like we get our routine you just go to practice and like you do your routine and you're basically done at nationals my entire family was there i'm talking brother uncles aunts cousins like everyone was there because they knew that it could have been my last time competing anyways day two happens and it wasn't like the best but i just like felt so much peace that's kind of like when i made my decision i was like i just feel really proud of my cheerleading career and i think it's time for a new beginning there's so much more to life than just cheer you know like I would make my decision and then like 30 seconds later I would have like 30 voices in my head like it's your senior year why aren't you cheering like like you're so stupid like and I would like just get these voices in my head and I would call my mom call my dad like, one day I was just like I'm done the support from my coaches was amazing uh, that meeting was really really hard I just can't thank them enough like they just like understood honestly the hardest part was telling my team I feel like that was really hard for me but just again like their support and like their understanding everything like was just the world basically I was just like trusting God through this whole process and moving on and focusing on my health my mental health my physical health really just not putting my whole identity and my life in cheerleading so blessed for that sport I'm so blessed for the opportunities in my career and I'm just so I'm proud of myself but yeah I'm just really also excited no I don't regret my decision no I don't wish to go back like right now the place i'm at right now i'm just super at peace grateful for my decision and excited to move forward for some reason the whole world thinks i'm dropping out of college which why would i drop out my senior year like if i were to drop out i would have dropped out freshman year i only have one more year left so no i'm not dropping out of college I'm not leaving Alabama. I'm not transferring. Like, no. I'm staying at Alabama. I'm living with my best friends next year. And I am just so excited. Okay, this was another big question. Um, makes sense of because of like my posts I've been posting. I grew up in Ashburn, Virginia, which is where I am right now. But for as long as I can remember, my parents have been dreaming of building a house in State College. They both went to school at Penn State um, my mom was a cheerleader and my dad was a soccer player literally growing up I just like would always hear like we're gonna have a house in State College someday and the past year well they bought land a couple years ago there and then the past year they've been building this beautiful house and it's finally coming together we move in July but yeah I'm just so excited for them happy for them proud of them I can't wait to show you guys the house because it's beautiful so many people are asking like why I haven't posted on YouTube and if I'm still gonna be posting on YouTube yes I'm still gonna be posting on YouTube YouTube takes a lot of time and editing and just like I was not in the right mental state to just like pull out my camera and vlog my everyday life because so much was going on I vlogged nationals but it was just like a complete mess like lost my SD card couldn't find it then I found it and I was just like okay well it's too late to post this I don't know I tried to vlog here and there like different weekends of my life when I was at Bama but like when I post on YouTube I want to give like my whole effort and like time 
and it just like wasn't working out. What are you majoring in? I'm majoring in communications. My major is communication studies with a minor in sports media. Going into Bama, I literally was like a business major. So if you're going into college and you don't know what to do, it's okay, you can always change your major. Obviously, I love communications, I love learning, and okay, well, I hate school. But I do really find it interesting learning how we communicate with other people, obviously, with being on social media and stuff, it's like really helpful. Minoring in sports media, I don't know if like a lot of you guys know this, but I love sports. Obviously, my family is like a big sports family, and I really just love that industry, and I hope I can get more involved now that I'm not cheering, especially at Bama. I never really could get involved just because I was cheering the games. I'm taking summer classes right now. And then next semester, spring semester, and hopefully I'm graduating in May. Well, I, I have to graduate in May, so graduating in May. Someone asked, what are you going to do over the summer to take care of your mental health? That also goes along with a bunch of people ask like, what am I doing now? I'm here with my family. I am a really big family girl, so just every second I get, I just love spending time with my family. I've kind of just been chilling for real, really working out. I'm really into running. I would not say I'm like good at it, but I just love it so much. It's just so peaceful and like healthy for me. As far as like my mental health and stuff, I was seeing a dietitian and a therapist the last couple months at Bama. Obviously don't have them here in Virginia and Pennsylvania this summer, but I learned so much from them just in those short like couple months um, that I'm really trying to take with me this summer and just grow and learn. I'm a very anxious person and I definitely would say that my parents are helping me a lot. I don't know how to describe it, but like my relationship with food is something that I'm not proud of at all. I don't know, I don't really like talking about it because I feel like I don't want to be like over dramatic or anything, but I am determined to get better. I also hope throughout this like whole process and journey, I know I'm not the only one that struggles with this and I know I can be a voice for other people. And I really, really, really pray about that with God. Like, I just want to help other people. <laughs> Are you joining a sorority? <laughs> no. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I don't. How tall are you? I'm 5'3 and a half. Something that God has been teaching you recently, honestly, to just slow down. I just feel like stuff needs to be happening every second. He's teaching me patience. His plans are different than my plans. So just putting all my trust in him. Any summer plans? So next week I'm going to celebrate Riley's birthday, 21st birthday at the beach. So that's super exciting. And then in June, I'm actually going to Barcelona, Ibiza, and Valencia with this brand. And I'm just like, even just saying that sounds ridiculous. I cannot wait to travel. I know I'm gonna share it with all of you guys and vlog the whole experience. So a lot of people were asking me what my plans are for after college and what I'm planning to do for my future career. I don't even know what I'm doing tomorrow. So, and I think that's like something to talk about because I feel like so many people think like you have to know exactly what you're doing right when you graduate. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing after I graduate, but I will be living in Miami, hopefully. <laughs> That's like, that's a given. Like, I really want to move back to Miami. Everyone knows that. Obviously, I want to continue and pursuing social media. I truly love this and just sharing my life with people. I also want to get involved in the sports industry and I'm like, what other better place than Miami? Fave vegan dessert. Um, this also goes, I know there's a, a couple other questions on like how I'm vegan and everything. And I'm not vegan because I do eat fish and I just added egg whites to my diet, but I definitely eat mostly vegan. My fave vegan dessert would probably be my banana bread, chocolate chip banana bread. Favorite Celsius flavor, I love strawberry guava. I'll put that right there. How do you do your slick back so good? Oh shoot, I actually have one. I look bald right now, but my hair's so dirty and my hair's literally like stuck to my head. Definitely. It's hard to do slick backs with like clean hair, so I definitely recommend it being a little dirty and then having hairspray, hair gel, and then like one of those like combs, not combs, what, brushes. Like if you don't have one of these brushes, then you're not going to get like a slick back to how you want it. 
Um, but yeah, those those couple of products are definitely and like the slick sticks, like those are really helpful. My favorite brand of cookies, St. Lawrence. Is that how you say it? St. Lawrence. Those cookies, they're gluten-free vegan. Oh my gosh, they have so many different flavors. I just love the chocolate chip ones, and I just like eating them raw because, I mean, they don't have eggs in it, so you can just eat them. My family loves those, and Riley loves those too. Oh my gosh, the snickerdoodle one is good. The chocolate one's good. So good. Also, Insomnia cookies, they have gluten-free vegan cookies, and they're so good because they're, like, warmed up. A bunch of people were asking if I'm still living with Riley next year. Um, so, we aren't living in our apartment, but we are living together in the new house that I was talking about, and I'm so excited because, I mean, it's only just been me and Riley in college, like, living together. Um, so it's definitely gonna be a change. Um, but I'm just so excited to live with all my friends. Most exciting game you cheered for Bama? Mm. Probably Iron Bowl my freshman year. It was an away game, and that was so crazy. I really enjoyed going to Texas A&M last season. The stadium, and just, that goes off with another question. Someone was asking my favorite, like, away stadium. Texas A&M stadium was, like, beautiful, and everyone was so kind, and I just, like, really, I don't know I just really enjoyed myself there someone asked me advice for getting cheated on in a relationship number one you don't deserve that and number two that says a lot about that person you deserve so much better someone that will love you unconditionally and give you the world so if that person that you're with is not giving you the world which is the bare minimum then you should know that and know your worth and know that God has someone better for you. Period. Are you planning on being involved with the Alabama cheer team still in some way? 100%, like I'm not just disappearing. I mean, all my best friends are still on the team and I'm living with them and I'm still talking to the coaches and everything. But yeah, 100%, I'm still gonna like go to their practices and cheer them on and be their biggest cheerleader. What are ways you prioritize prioritize your faith over school cheer etc i've learned that i can't live my life without god prioritizing god first thing in the morning though has really changed like my faith journey when i wake up the first thing i do um obviously i go to the bathroom and brush my teeth and stuff um but just having quiet time with god reading my bible doing my daily devotionals i always talk about the bible app you guys can get it it's free i always start plans whether that's a three-day plan a week plan i do plans with my mom and my family with my friends doing plans with like other people is really encouraging there was actually like a past service at church of the highlands my church in tuscaloosa it talks about how spending time with god first thing in the morning can reflect your entire day reflect your attitude how you treat other people i don't know i thought that was super encouraging because i mean for like the past couple of years i've been doing this like routine where I wake up and I read my Bible and I journal and I just pray, listen to worship music, and it really has changed my life. I think I'm going to end this video here. I am just so thankful for all of you guys, and I'm so excited to be back on YouTube and posting. Don't forget to comment down below some videos you guys want to see. Also, check out my other platforms, Instagram, TikTok, my LTK where I post like all my outfits, jewelry, makeup, and things I use every day. I just want everyone to know that Mary's back.